So one of the things I love to do with a scammer is when you catch them in a lie, you don't let it go. You just keep pressing and pressing and pressing. And it's just a lot of fun. And the one I go to a lot, it's really easy to do, is the national do not call list. Did you check my number before you against the national do not call list before you called me? Hmm. I already know the answer to the question, but let's ask and find out what they say. This one's a good one. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Mark from Dead Bro. How are you? you? You said your name is Mark. Is that right? Yeah. All right. It would. It well, was... We are reaching you out. We are reaching you out to become debt free by dealing with your credit card debts and other debts. So, how much debt do you have right now, sir? Well, I have one card that's about 11000 just by itself. I mean, if you could help me with that one, that would be great. Okay. So how are you going to help me? Well, sir, we have a licensed contractor in your area, in the company. Okay, so he will help you to become debt-free. You have a okay, license? you have a Hold on a second. You said you have a license. A license what? Agent. Agent? An agent from where? Uh, sir, uh, we have debt specialist in your area, okay? A debt specialist. What company does this debt specialist work for? Debt Pro Settlement, okay? I have to debt Pro Settlement? Did you say that he works for Debt Pro Settlement? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard of that before, but okay. Okay, I have senior supervisor. He will regard you. Okay. Now is the senior is the senior supervisor the agent? No, no. No. I thought you were gonna put me in touch with an agent. Thank you for being patient, sir. How are you? Well, I'm really confused. That guy was not explaining things very well. First, he told me he had an agent I need to talk to, and then he put you on the phone and said you're not the agent. So, who are you? So I am. I am a super senior supervisor here. He, uh, my associate, one of associate, his job is to uh, uh, confirm the data that how much debts are you currently in. If he collect the debt data, then I'll guide you further. I have asked to few questions from you, and okay. then uh, I'll. Uh, so. Are you, are, are you ready? Sure, what are your questions? Sir, are you employed or self-employed? Self-employed. Okay. So, for clarification process, sir, I need to confirm uh, exactly how much debts are you currently in? Well, as I was telling the previous guy, most everything I have is credit card debt. I have one card alone that's 11000 Okay, layman thousand. Thank you. Well, that's just okay, one card. Right. Okay, okay, all right. That's a one card. So basically, sir, what is your monthly income? Well, I'm self-employed, so it changes from month to month. Some month is some months it could be five hundred dollars. Some months it could be ten thousand dollars. It all depends. So on average, it uh, it's almost about fifteen hundred dollars. So our, our pre-qualification process is uh, uh, you must have one uh, fifteen hundred dollars plus. Okay. Well, yeah, I can definitely meet that. Uh, okay, that's right, sir. I believe you are a good citizen. I paying your bills on time. So. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Score, uh, that might be uh, that you good citizen. That might be pushing it a little bit, but I do pay my bills on time. Yes, I believe. So, how do you rate your credit score? It's above 650? I honestly, I haven't looked recently. I don't know what it is. So, any roughly idea it's above 650? What did I just say? Okay, okay, sir, I got it. Okay. So, can I have your zip code, zip, zip code please? 32202. 32202. Yeah. Okay, alright. So, how do you pronounce your first and last name, please? Timothy Williams. Okay. Can you spell it for me, please? T I M O T H Y W I L L I A 
IMS. Okay, right. So, is there someone else on that are you working with? What? Is there someone else on debts are you working with? Is it working on what? Paying down my debt? No, it's just me paying down my debt. Okay, 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 okay that's right. So I, uh, so I need to confirm that you are not in bankruptcy for the past two or three years? No, I am not. Okay, that's fine. So... Now I am going to read a short disclaimer for you. Is that okay? Sure, go for it. So allow me, may I share your contact number 904 with our debt specialist. Even if your number is registered on federal or state do not call list. Is that okay from your side? Well, I'm fairly certain if my number was listed on a do not call list, you wouldn't have called me in the first place, right? Okay, all right. So I need clear okay or uh, no for this disclaimer. So I, how, how's your? I need I need you to answer the question first, though. If my number was on a national do not call list, you wouldn't have called me in the first place, right? Sir, if your number is registered on federal or any state do not call list, then we are not going to uh, process this deal. No, 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 not process the deal. You wouldn't have called me in the first place, which means obviously my number can't be on a federal do not call list because you wouldn't have called me, right? So basically we gathered, uh, we gathered data and we uh, did a survey in uh, U.S. states and we are calling those people who are in debt. So if I... If I uh, collect information, then I need to confirm that uh, uh, with uh, uh, you are agree uh, with disclaimer or not. If you are uh, agree with disclaimer, then I uh, go further. If you are not agree with disclaimer, then uh, we are sorry uh, to you and we are not going to uh, disclaim. But but what you're saying is that if my number was on the national do not call list, you calling me would have been breaking the law, right? That's not good, right? That. Oh, uh, sir, that's not, not good. But we, yeah. we are, we are asking, we are. I, I believe, I believe that's not good. I believe. So we are asking you, to, if your number is registered in state or do not call is now it's uh, now it's your right. If you are okay or not okay with that. If you are not okay, then I, I, I surely do not call you and uh, not share your information. It's our company regulation or policy. Right, right. Well, I mean, I mean, if you think about it. If my number was on the national or federal do not call list, you would not have been calling me. Which means, if you check the list ahead of time, you know my number's not on that list, right? So why would you be asking me that question unless you already knew ahead of time that my number was on the list and you were breaking the law by calling me in the first place? I, I, I understand your concern, sir. Right. So, basically... Basically, so, you're, a, you're, you're a lying liar who broke the law in the first place, so... so and now you want my permission I, to not break the law. <laughs> sir, sir, hold on, I, I can explain you. Please, please do. Sir, sir, first thing is that... Uh, we are, I am not lying to you. And we are doing debt settlements in all over the USA for past 15 years. Right. And you can search, uh, you can search us on uh, www.debtsettlements.com with our company name is DebtPro. And we are helping people to become debt free. If, and I, and, and the list is on, in the front of me. And we are dialing your numbers. So if your number is in, National do not call list, and you are you are having debts. Then I I uh, I'm, uh, I am trying to help you. So and in the disclaimer, this is our company's policy to take your permission. If you are not going to going, going to give me permission, then I surely I surely do, do not uh, share your information with anyone and put on our do not call list. Right, right. But the funny thing is, and, and I'm just going to reiterate this because it, it's, the, it's the crutch of this entire conversation. You have a list of telephone numbers. 
You're supposed to check it against the federal do not call list before you call the number and then ask the person for permission to call them. So in other words, you didn't check my number first, or did you check my number? Uh, I, I, I am understanding what you are saying. Yeah, it, so it's my mistake. I supposed to be. I supposed to check the number before dialing, even if registered on state or not. Right. So you're saying. So you're saying you. Are you saying you didn't check the number first? No. You did not. So you didn't. You didn't do your company policy, which is to check the number first and not call somebody on the national do not call list. Yes, yes. So you failed. If somebody... Sir, sir, okay. Sir, 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 give me one, sir, give me, give me one second. Sure, sure. If your number... Sir, if your number is registered on state or do not call list. Uh-huh. So, again, it's, it's, again, it's our policy to uh, ask you a few questions. If you are in that... And you are in also in a, a do not call list. Then, so, so your company then, policy... Then, uh, so your company policy is to call somebody and then ask them, hey, are you on the national do not call list? Yes, for, for, for dealing purpose. Right. See, that doesn't make any sense. You call somebody and then ask them, oh, by the way, are you on the national do not call list? Because if you are, we're not supposed to call you in the first place. But you called them in order to ask them that question. Defeats the, defeats the whole purpose, that completely defeats the whole purpose of the national do not call list, right? If you call them first and ask them if they're on that list. <laughs> I am understanding you. Please, please hold a minute. I have, I have my dad's specialist here. And, uh, sure, my sure. He will give you further details on your concerns. Oh, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, so now he's going to transfer me to the debt specialist. After we've gone through this entire conversation where I implied and pretty much told him, I'm on the national do not call list, don't call me. This is Bob, over to you. Hi, Bob, and what is your position there? What is your title? I'm one of the manager on the floor. You're the manager on the floor. Okay, great. Well, the question was asked of me. For me to give permission for somebody to call me back, even though, even if my number appears on the national do not call list. And my question was, did you guys check the national do not call list before you dialed my number? And it turns out you did not. Okay. Yep, sir. Yep, sir? What does that mean? I mean, you registered in national or federal and state do not call list. It's my apologies. Let me put this number to my off-call list and nobody will call you again, okay? So you're telling me you know my number's on the national do not call list, but you called me anyway. Like I said, I put this number to my off-call list and nobody will call you again from our company, okay? Are you sure? Because I get these calls all the time. That's what I'm saying. Okay, well, I, just like the other guy, I think you're both liars. You, you dirty, rotten liars, you know that? Forget it. Forget what? Oh, and he just wants me to forget it. Oh, what a, hey, manager, ultimately responsible for what you guys do? I hold you responsible. They didn't check the list, or maybe they did. I don't even know at this point. Did they check the list before they called? Maybe. Maybe not. Either way, they're going to call again. You know they will. And we'll have some more fun with them. But believe me, when they call you, just screw with them. Waste as much of their time as possible. It's always a good thing. Oh, love it. Hey, everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way. And we'll catch you all next time.